How's it going everyone? Welcome back for another video. Today we're actually going to be installing some parts, which is cool um, because I haven't gotten to do that in a little bit and I've been really wanting to. So I'm sure by the title of this video you already know what's in this box, but we still need to go get one more, um, one more piece at Fry's Electronics. If you don't have a Fry's and you don't know what Fry's is, you are seriously missing out because it is the coolest electronic store ever. I'm gonna cut out all that boring stuff. I just need to go pick up one piece. So we are going to just catch back up when I get to the garage. All right, and we are back in the garage, the messy, messy garage that needs to be cleaned up. I'm going to apologize in advance. It is hot as hell in here and I'm probably going to become a sweaty mess. That's just the way it is. Now that we're back here, I can go ahead and reveal what's in the box. Yeah, you probably already know, but just going to show you the details. So, at Fry's, I picked up this Mazda, uh, kind of a universal, well, Metra. They're kind of the standard for radio installs, but it's their uh, wiring harness. So we have that. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the rest of the box. First we have this dash kit, which is something you'll need to put in a double DIN unit. It should fit in there just like OEM, um, hopefully. I've never gotten one of these before, so I'm just kind of hoping for the best here. Um, and then our radio is here. So this is a Pioneer head unit. Um, it's got some long name but it's got Bluetooth, it has auxiliary, I think, uh, as long as it has Bluetooth. Really, I just want Bluetooth. I'm tired of using cables in the car, and I wanted something touchscreen, and this will fit the bill perfectly. Big shout out to Jimmy, if you're watching this. He came to my work and dropped this radio off and gave me a, a really great price on it. Um, you have a sick car, and thank you for being a courteous car enthusiast. Um, here's a picture of his car. It looks pretty awesome. So we're going to go ahead and install this and I'm really interested in doing this because I've never had a, I've never installed a head unit before. So hopefully it's pretty easy. It should be simple. Um, I've got all the things that I should need except for like the accessories like a serious radio and, and like reverse cameras and things like that. But we're going to do our best. Um, First things first, we need to take out the dash and we're gonna do that really fast. And the dash is out. So that's all done. Now we can move on to the next step. And something that you do lose with this is you lose the steering wheel controls, which aren't a huge deal to me. Um, but we need to transfer over these pieces to work for the new radio. Um, and the HVAC controls need to go here too. So. Um, I'm going to set you down and we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, so I guess we need to cut this center piece out. Um, but right now it's, it's looking good. It looks very OEM, I'm impressed with this kit. But we need to get this middle piece out. So I guess we're gonna try to do that. I don't really have anything to cut it with though. That's the issue. I mean, I have like a X-Acto knife, but let's give it a shot, I guess.
All right, not too bad. All right, and next we need to install these ISO DIN, ISO DDIN, which I think are these. No, well, is it? It's gotta be. Yeah, this is it. These go like that. They just fit pretty nicely in there, I guess. All right, and next we need to take our radio or a head unit, whatever you want to call it, slide it in through the front like this. Use the screw supplied with the radio. Well, I don't think I have any screws that came with the radio because I bought this used. So, yeah, I don't think I have the right screws. All right, I found some screws that work. So it's all attached, good to go. Uh, I won't tell anyone if you don't that those screws are not the right ones, but they worked. So next, I guess we put the harness on, which is the part I'm kind of nervous about because this is the part I don't really know how to do. Um, but we're gonna try to figure it out. All right, well, I realized I didn't have my microphone on for any of that. So anyways, this is done. Um, we can go put it in the car and hopefully this works. I'm not gonna install it all the way because I want to make sure that everything power-wise is working as it should. We are going to take this, plug it into here, and let's see. The antenna plug goes in there, like that. This cable, I think, which is for steering wheel, um, I could hook up at a later date, I suppose. But for right now, I'm just going to tuck it back because I don't really use my radio a ton, um, but I did want something nicer. And lastly, the, let's see, is this it? Okay, so I'm just gonna set it in right there, like that. I'm really impressed with this kit. It really does look pretty good. It's a little bit of a different material. Like it's kind of that like, if you guys have ever felt a Volkswagen's plastic, how it's like almost rubbery, that's kind of how it feels. So, let me grab my keys. All right, this is the moment of truth. My AC works, and the radio works. Awesome. Okay, this is good news. Um, I'm going to make sure that everything is connected speaker-wise, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, and here is the final resting place for the radio. And I think, I think it complements the interior pretty well. I like the way it kind of looks. It looks almost OEM, like it's supposed to be there. Um, like since the the little frame around the LCD screen matches with the dash pieces and everything, it really looks like it was supposed to be there. I, that's why I like the look of double DIN units so much, is because they fit the dash a lot better than the single DIN. In the single DIN, they try to fit as many buttons as they can. Um, and with the double DIN, obviously you can get things like touch screen and, and whatnot. So I'm really liking the way that looks. Um, I did hook in the uh, speaker. It is right up there. So it's pretty discreet. Um, I think it's pretty well hidden. And the, the sound quality calls is really good. Um, so let me go ahead. I'm going to show you the interface of the radio and we'll wrap this video up. Video may appear. Um, so this is the screen. It's I don't know how to change the background on it, but I wish I could just make it be black. At least it's like a cool car, so that's fine. Um, so there's a lot of different options. HD radio, iPod, Pandora, auxiliary, 
Um, I don't have an iPod or an iPhone, so mainly I just use the Bluetooth audio, which is perfect because no more auxiliary cable. I'm so excited by that. So auxiliary cable, um, it's got your song choice right here. I've just been using Spotify. Um, you can do calls. Calls are great. Um, the sound quality is really good at the calls. Changing your EQs, things like that. The illumination, there's plenty of different colors you can pick from. Um, for the display, I like red because it matches with everything else in this car, so that's good. So, there's a lot of other options. Um, you can hook up things from your phone, which I'm not going to use. Um, again, equalizer, your settings, um, all the different things. You can hook up cameras to this, like a front and rear uh, camera, which is cool to do maybe in the future. You can hook up all of your sound system things through it. I don't have any right now, but I'm not super worried about that. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of settings, and I'm sure I'm going to find other things uh, with this that I will I'll mess with in the end. But I'm sorry, I'm really sweaty again because it's just so hot out here. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited by this. It's gonna be it's gonna be really nice to start listening to the radio um, without any cables because you know it's 2018 where everyone's cutting cable. Um, everything's going wireless so why not bring that to your car anyways guys thank you so much for watching i do appreciate everyone who's been subscribing everything like that i know i give you the same spiel every single video but really every time we get new subscribers it's so awesome i'm so excited that you're here thank you for joining the channel and make sure you make yourself known uh, leave a comment below hit that like button and tune in for the next video thanks for watching this video guys i'll see you in the next one